I'd always wanted to go to Greece, Alexis. One year, my mom had one of those scenic wall calendars, you know, above the washer and dryer. And two of the months had photos of Greece. And I just look at them when I was folding laundry, just sort of daydreaming of something better. I sense a bit of resentment about your economic situation. Well, meaning that I'd do anything for a buck? If that were true, I would have let you buy me off, Alexis. Not if you have your mind on a bigger prize. I'm, I'm sorry, my aunt's tendency to overprotect seems to have gotten the better of her. She thinks that your trip to Greece is somehow connected to Helena. Rebecca's innocence about her trip remains to be seen. Will you stop talking about her like she's on trial no, here? No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I can defend myself. Please do. So you started out in Athens? No, Rome. Took a train south. Took the ferry from Brindisi to Corfu. See, there you go. Your information's already inaccurate. Yeah, your aunt's just trying to trip me up. She knows exactly where I was. Mykonos, the smaller islands. Cassadine Island, where Helena tutored you on how to approach Nicholas. No Cassadine Islands on my itinerary. Mm, sounds like a really expensive trip for a lab technician. I cut back on a lot of things, Alexis. Got laid off from the hospital and got some severance pay, so I decided to uh, do a little something for myself and took a trip to Greece. I have a list of the hotels you stayed at then. Yes. Right. Helena put Rebecca up in the finest two-star motels and bed and breakfast in all yeah, of Greece. Yeah, I didn't care where I stayed. Just sort of sightseeing, exploring a little. Oh, sounds suspicious to me. Hmm. Well, if you look a little closer, you'll see that there's a gap of two weeks where there's no record of her staying anywhere. So, Rebecca... Care to tell us where you were and who you were with? No record of your whereabouts in those two weeks. You were just gone. I was staying with a friend. Do you think you could be a little more specific? <clears throat> I'd rather not. Yeah, this is obviously making her uncomfortable. How do you think it's making me feel? Two weeks is ample time for Helena to teach you all her little tricks. I met someone, okay? He was a fisherman. And I asked him to take me out on his boat for a ride. And we wound up spending the next two weeks together. Hey, you just crossed the line from concern to paranoia. Better to be paranoid than willfully blind, Nicholas. What are you so afraid that I'm going to do to him? I'm not worried you'll do anything to him, Rebecca. I'm worried about what you'll take from him. His money, his child. Oh. I don't know, maybe she's contracted you to get yourself pregnant so she can have an heir. You're serious. She slit my mother's throat. Okay. You bet I'm Stop. serious. Stop. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Look, I'll make you a deal. Nicholas and I haven't slept together. And not for lack of trying. But we'll refrain. What? We will? Yeah, for two weeks. You can do all the digging you want. And if you come up empty-handed, then you agree to leave us alone. And what if I find what I'm looking for? You won't. You're on. I know her resemblance to Emily is so hurtful to you that you can't ask the questions that you should. I have no such reservations. Why, why, why? No, I think my first instinct was best. No, 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 you don't have to prove anything to me or my aunt. No, but maybe you have to prove something to yourself, you know? I mean, your aunt's words must have gotten to you on some level. She's wrong. But maybe part of you wants to prove that my resemblance to Emily doesn't matter, right? And because you're a man, you're also in some mental competition with a certain young, hot fisherman from Greece. You still think he's hot? <laughs> yeah, oh, rest my case. Yeah. All right, whatever, but as for proving something to Alexis, you don't have to. Okay, look, you love and respect your aunt, right? I mean, her concern has to carry some weight with you, at least subconsciously. And selfishly, I never want to look up from your arms again to see your aunt staring down at me with some disapproving look. I face. won't last two weeks. <laughs> okay, it's not going to be that hard. Come on, we can do it. I don't know. Sounds like a, sounds like a challenge. Please. 
Challenge accepted.